Alright guys, so uh, what we're gonna do today is create a sort of back verb effect. Uh, you often see this in uh, some hard style tracks. So what you want to do first is just grab yourself a standard vocal or a vocal you made yourself. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, this one. Go, 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 go. So just load it into a, a pattern. Just assign free mixer track. Add uh, reverb 2, preset cathedral, and just turn the wet up so it's level with the rest. Now just listen. Go, 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 go. Alright, so that sounds okay. Um, what you want to do now, just normalize it. Just create a single block in your playlist. Play it and listen to when it ends. Go. All right, so it ends around about here. Just create a one block there. All right, now um, just go to file, export, wave file. Now I'm just uh, gonna override my previous uh, ones. Start this. All right, now what you want to do now? Uh, go to FX, just clone it. You don't really have to clone it, but assign free mixer channel, Edison, load sample, go to your project, load the sample. Go! Right, so what you want to do now is just zoom in all the way and just check when it ends, when the vocal ends and the reverb begins. Go! Alright, now that sounds alright. Just save sample as. It's back verb. Then overwrite it again. Uh, what you want to do now is just get into your project folder. Back verb. Load it into your playlist. Now just listen to this. Now what you want to do now is just normalize it and reverse it. want to paste Go. this one behind it, zoom in so it's timed all right, now just listen, Go. right now, again go to channel settings, just add some with reverb and maybe I know, delay. Go. Now, uh, here you have it. Now you know how to create a fact verb like thing, effect, and fruit loops. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Check you later. Bye.